in the name of Allah, the Beneficent, the Merciful, all praises is due to Allah, the Lord of the worlds. We thank Allah for bringing to us a divine leader, teacher, and guide in the person of the most honorable Elijah Muhammad. This is how the meetings of the Nation of Islam begin. They thank Allah for raising in our midst a teacher. We know him as the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. But there would be no divine messenger, divine teacher, without this man called Master Farah Muhammad. Who is this man, Farah Muhammad? Many people don't want to use that word, Master Farad Muhammad. But this is how we was taught in the nation of Islam. Master Farad Muhammad or Wallace Farad Muhammad. Nowadays, because we have done our research and we get the information, many of us view him as a criminal according to the FBI and the Detroit Police Department in the 1930s. As he made his appearance there in Detroit, I believe it was first Detroit, he also I believe also had visits in Chicago, but primarily Detroit area. And it was reported by the FBI that he was a criminal, partaking in criminal activity. It is also said that he created a version of Islam because he found it much easier to get money rather than actual criminal activity. And we do see this in religion. You can sell false hopes and dreams. You can be a fraud and it is legal rather than actually breaking into a house, uh, carjacking, uh, prostitution and selling drugs. It's much easier to do. Who is Far Muhammad? According to the teachings, Far Muhammad is somebody that was born in Mecca, Arabia, who came here for the purpose of raising up the black man and woman in America to place us back on the throne. This is the mercy of God himself. And the nation of Islam calls him God. This man who was born of a black man, a black father, and a Caucasian mother, mind you, the nation of Islam also calls um, the white man the devil, Caucasians, devils. And there's a lot of questions in that of itself that this man being called God but his mother is a devil. But that is not what we're trying. We're trying to figure out and want to talk about who is this person from Pakistan? Some of us, we now say that he's a criminal from Pakistan
but the Honorable Elijah Muhammad teaches that he is God, the all-knowing. He is God in the flesh. The Honorable Elijah Muhammad teaches us that God is a man and man dies. I don't know who Allah is right now, but Allah is just a title. And Master Farah Muhammad carried that title and was given the power of God, the knowledge of God, the God of this time. We don't know if he, if if uh, Master Farah Muhammad is alive or or dead, but we do know that human beings don't live too much longer than a hundred years. And even if you do reach a hundred, our health is really, really, and a lot of times it's really bad. <clears throat> there are those who call him Master Fraud Muhammad. We make mockery of people because we now know the truth. And we degrade people. And we're so happy that we can expose folks. This is the reality. Far Muhammad, you're talking about this man. And he made his presence known in 1930. And you're still talking about him in 2022. Wow. You cannot talk about Muhammad Ali or Louis Farrakhan or so many Muslims or just being a Muslim in America. Shouts out to the Moor Science Temple, the Prophet Noble Draw Ali. But when we think about Islam in America, this person, Fraud Muhammad, Wallace Dodd, you can say, whatever, however you see him, no matter if you like him or dislike him or you're neutral, but he's, he's, he's not your cup of tea or whatever. This man did, he did, he raised up Elijah Muhammad, somebody with a third grade education. And Elijah Muhammad caused this man called Malcolm X to come into being. And Muhammad Ali, Louis Farrakhan, Khalid Muhammad. And others. This organization. This man. Was behind the germination. Of. Great. Some of the greatest. Soul brothers and sisters ever. This man. And I myself cannot even talk. Because if it wasn't for Master Farah Muhammad, the reality's temple on earth would not be here. But the difference between myself and those who stay loyal to a belief system is that it is my belief. Whether he meant to do it or not, whether he's God or not, it is my belief that the natural evolution of the, na of the nation of Islam is to evolve and become what I call the reality's temple on earth. The nation of Islam was the only religious belief that I know of, and perhaps there was others, but we do know the 
the nation of Islam is most known. Teaching God as a man. That heaven is here on earth. Taking, taking religion out of the invisible spiritual world. And the only thing Angel Snub Nub 7 has done is bring you totally out of fairy tales, mythology, allegories, spirituality. I take us all the way because now we are grown up. We were not grown. We were still in our infancy in the 1930s. You don't give a baby a steak. You give a baby milk. You do not walk out of the womb. You crawl. You can't even take care of yourself. You take a dump on yourself. You need somebody to take care of, your, care of you. And that is the purpose of the teachings of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad. To spoon feed you, to care for you until you get grown. I heard that Elijah Muhammad said, there's something I want to tell you, but you're not ready. Now, some of you think that Louis Farrakhan has taken you to a higher level. But how is that when he's made the teachings more spooky than what it originally was? Elijah Muhammad made it very clear. After me, there's none. There's no divine reminder. There's no special divine person after me. I'm the last messenger of Allah. I'm not leaving an error. I'm not leaving somebody in my place. That's up to you. When I'm gone, I've taught you for 40 some years. You're on your own. And you fail, Elijah Muhammad. You have failed, Master Farah Muhammad. You have not evolved. And that's because you don't think for yourself. If you really was following Elijah Muhammad, if you really understood the teachings of Master Farah Muhammad, they wanted you and it was directing you towards reality. You're supposed to be the leaders of the world. How are you going to be the leaders of the world by following the books and the scholarship of others? You are the new. You are the chosen. You are the new. You are the original. And you are the example that the other human beings are to live up to. That is the purpose of the teachings of Elijah Muhammad. That should be our destiny. And we have earned it because of our struggle, because of the hell that we have caught in this nation going on 500 years. There's no blood on our hands. Nobody can say we enslaved them or did such and such to them. But we have not evolved to God. And really that's the purpose of Bible and Quran. Because we're supposed to be children of God. But you have a delusional fantasy outlook on how, what God is. That's why I choose not to use the word. Because you don't see things in a realistic, from a realistic viewpoint. But whatever, I give Farah Muhammad what credit is due. Whether you like him or hate him, you have to give this man his, the credit for what he's done. 